Sunburn may seem like a minor annoyance at first, but it can go from bad to worse before you know it. Even as few as five sunburns in a lifetime can have serious consequences for your health. Each day you step outside, your skin is exposed to the sun's rays. It's one thing if you're briefly stepping out to get the morning paper, but you'll probably need to slather on the SPF 15 if you plan to take a walk. You never know if your short walk will become a longer one, particularly if you run into someone you know. Maybe my reckless fling is over there getting a reckless sunburn. On a day when the UV index is 7 or higher, your skin can burn in as little as 15 minutes if you're not wearing any sun protection. And even if you don't see the red skin from sunburn, your body is still absorbing radiation from the sun which can damage the DNA in your skin cells. Add up those few minutes of sun exposure over several years, and you could see some serious damage to your skin. In fact, if you've been sunburned more than five times in your younger years, you double your risk of melanoma. Skin cancer is one of the most common cancers in the United States, with two people dying from it every hour. Although cases of melanoma are expected to decline, deaths from the disease are anticipated to rise. The reason for this is because invasive melanoma, which permeates the skin's middle layer, has been increasing. Notably, sunburns are pretty common when you're younger, with more than 75% of children getting sunburned every year. Sadly, Sadly, we don't learn much as we get older, with half of adults under 30 reporting a sunburn in a year. I'm so sick of all the hypocrites around here. Two words, sweetie. Sunscreen. Getting frequent sunburns when you were younger increases your risk of melanoma because more of the sun's radiation has penetrated your skin. Even a bad second-degree sunburn with blisters in childhood can more than double your risk of melanoma. For those unfamiliar with that term, second-degree sunburns damage the middle layer of your skin. Additionally, there are certain groups of people who need to be more vigilant in protecting themselves from the sun's harmful rays than others. People with lighter skin and hair are more at risk for sunburn. People who live at higher altitudes and in latitudes closer to the equator are also more prone to UV radiation. People who participate in outdoor sports and recreation activities such as running, fishing, or swimming will need to protect themselves from long bouts in the sun as well. A 2023 article in Cancers found that swimmers, surfers, and marathon runners are more likely to develop melanoma. Am I the biggest loser on the beach? No, I am. I forgot to put on sunscreen. Sunburn not only increases your risk for skin cancers, but the sun also contributes to premature aging of your skin, leading to sagging and wrinkles. Sun exposure can also lead to eye damage or cataracts. To protect yourself from sunburn, slather any exposed skin with SPF 15 when you walk outside and reapply after sweating and swimming. These days, you can find clothing that can protect your skin from the sun's damaging rays. If possible, seek shade when you can under an umbrella or a tree. And if you're still going to tanning beds, you'll need to give those up to protect your skin as well. I'll stay here as long as it takes. I'll even cancel my 5.30 at the tanning salon. Cole, you had skin cancer like yesterday. Just hold the damn clamp.